All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at a nautical problem. So we've got uh, angle measurements, things like that. So in this case, U.S. Coast Guard patrol boat leaves Port Cleveland, averages 35 knots. Uh, and for the sake of making sure we got that, make a note of that. One knot with a K is equal to one nautical mile per hour. So if you were here about a boat traveling at you know 30 knots, that's 30 nautical miles per hour. Remember, at the beginning of the chapter, being the unit, we learned about the difference between nautical miles and statute miles. So just as a reminder for that, one nautical mile is equal to 1.15 statute miles. And that's like miles on land as opposed to miles on the water. So uh, keep that in mind. There's a problem later on in the lesson where you're going to be asked about that. So just a note for you. The other thing to note is when we're talking about nautical directions or bearings, uh, north would be considered to be zero degrees, okay, which is a little bit different because normally when we look at our x, y axis, we have zero degrees over here on the right side, which would be like east. Uh, so when we're talking about bearings or directions uh, of travel, we go zero degrees being north, and then we rotate clockwise. So this would be you know, over here, 53 degrees is our bearing for the boat initially. Uh, that means from north, so 53 degrees of this angle right here, okay? Then, uh, it travels for two hours on a course of 53 degrees, then on three hours on a course of 143 degrees. So that 143, again, is 143 degrees from north, okay? So the boat ends up somewhere down here. And we want to know what the boat's bearing is and distance is from Port Cleveland. So bearing would be this angle from there to there. That's what we need to figure out. And then the distance would be the length of this particular side of a right triangle, okay? So a couple things to keep in mind. If this is 53 degrees right here, then an alternate interior angle, in this case angle B, is also 53 degrees, okay? So think of angle of elevation, angle of depression, that kind of thing. And if this is 143 degrees from here to there, then the rest of the way to get to 180 would be 37 degrees. Okay, now if you put those two things together, 37 and 53, it turns this into a right angle right there. So I have a right triangle with this side and this side, and then the ultimate distance that I have um, where the boat is from Port Cleveland. So what I'm going to do is, again, we need to figure out this angle in green here. This is what we're trying to figure out. This is our bearing, uh, and this is our distance. Okay, so for distance, I'm going to call that D. Uh, and then I know that D is equal to, by the Pythagorean theorem, uh, we'll call this X and we'll call this Y. So it'd be X squared plus, the square root of X squared plus Y squared. That's going to be the distance, okay? So if I can figure out those two distances and plug them into that formula, I think I'd be okay to find the total distance traveled. So X would be, well, let's think about that. Uh, first, let's find Y, actually. So Y would be equal to, well, in the problem it says, we've been traveling for two hours at a particular speed, okay? So two hours times 35 knots, which is nautical miles per hour, uh, well, that's going to mean that we have traveled 70 nautical miles, okay? So that would be the value of y. Now for X, same idea, once I turn on that new bearing, I've traveled, it's, it's three hours at 35 knots. So I'm going to take three times 35, and I'll skip the labels just for the sake of time, and that's going to be 105. Okay, so as I find D the distance that I am uh, from Port Cleveland, that's going to be equal to the square root of 105 squared plus 70 squared. Okay. Then, I'll type that into the calculator real quick. We'll clear these things. So we're going to take the square root of 105 squared plus 70 squared. We're going to hit enter, and we're going to get 126.2 roughly. Okay. So we'll bring it back here. This is going to equal 126.2, and I would label that as being nautical miles. Okay, so not mile. So that's our distance. Okay, so we got that taken care of. But we still need to find our bearing. So to find our bearing, we're going to need to know again this big angle right here. Well, to find that angle, I'm going to look first for angle theta. 
Okay, so angle theta is this angle right here within this right triangle. Okay, uh, in this right triangle, I've got the opposite side and the adjacent side. So I'm going to use tangent to find that angle right there. So the tangent of theta is equal to the length of the opposite side, which if you remember from the work we did, is 105. And then the length of the adjacent side would be 70. Now if I need to solve for the angle, I would be using the arc tangent, or inverse of tangent. So I'm going to find the arc tangent of 105 divided by 70. And I would make sure that my calculator is in degree mode before I do this one, because again, I would like a degree answer. So let's type that in. We're going to find, we're in degree mode, so the arc tangent of 105 divided by 70. Close parentheses, hit enter, and we get 56.3. So theta is equal to 56.3 degrees. Now it's not quite our bearing, however, that's just this part of the angle. So what I have to do is I have to take that 56.3 degrees and add it to the 53 degrees that I had already come from due north. So if I add 53 to this number, our bearing, when we're all said and done, is going to be 109.3 degrees. So that would be our bearing. We'll write up the word bearing. Okay. The direction we are compared to due north, which is going to be zero degrees. And there you have it.